Okay, this video is for uh, Tilla Blade, and uh, he builds uh, Sterling engines like I do from scratch, but he got one of these off of the internet, and um, built it up and showed how to build it up, and then he modified it, and showed how to make modifications to a Sterling engine to make it run more efficiently. And they're only $30, they're not very expensive, so I went ahead and got one. comes in a kit form. Uh, this metal part is a casting, aluminum casting, as is the flywheel in this part here, the cylinder kit. It's all metal, and so I got one and built it up. There's real easy instructions on how to put it together. It runs right out of the gate. And uh, this is the stock one. I haven't done any modifications to it except lubrication. Uh, the alcohol tank is in here. And... Um, uh, part of the casting so you don't have to have a separate burner it's it's all together and let me turn it on and show you how it works um, I just liked it I like the size I like the whole idea of it uh, there's actually a place right here where you could mount a generator and that's the pulley for running the generator if you want to put one on it it's just a permanent magnet motor that is run by that and generates electricity because it's a permanent magnet motor and like I say it's just um, a really really neat little desktop sterling engine and uh, if you're interested in efficiencies the sterling engine is one of the more efficient things that's come along we just haven't developed a real a good way to do it there's several reasons why it's not applicable to like a car uh, you can't vary the speed very well and it takes time to heat it up so people went to the internal combustion engine instead but um, I know uh, there are people that run these off solar energy by heating that up with a solar focal point from a parabolic mirror or something so Maybe there's a way we can go back to the Sterling engine to uh, convert uh, heat to mechanical work. But uh, I really like this. And thanks, Blade, for uh, doing your series on those um, on how to put it together and, and what you can do to modify and stuff. Real fun little project. It's 30 bucks. It's not dirt cheap, but it's not horribly expensive. And uh, I highly recommend getting one of these. Thanks for watching.